Hello students, how are you all? Today we will discuss about kinetic energy. First of all, let me give you some idea about kinetic energy. Say, an object is at rest. Say, cricket ball. The ball is at rest. Now, what you are doing? You are pushing the ball. So, the ball will gain some velocity. Fine. What was the initial velocity of the ball? Zero. So, when you are pushing the ball, pushing means you are applying a force. When you are applying a force, then its velocity will increase like from 0 to 10 meter per second or 20 meter per second. So, what is the initial velocity? Zero. What is the final velocity? 20 meter per second. Say 20 meter per second or 30 meter per second. And why this velocity is increased? Because you have pushed it. And we know that when you are pushing the ball, that means you have done some work. That work is the kinetic energy here. Understood? How much work you have done, that is the amount of kinetic energy. Now we, wish, we will discuss the mathematical explanation of kinetic energy. Let's see. Say, this is the ball whose mass is m. Now you are applying a force, capital F. Fine. What is the velocity of the ball? Zero. That is initial velocity equal to zero. U equal to zero. Now when you are applying a force, it will gain some velocity. Say the ball whose mass is m. Now the velocity is say 10 meter per second or 20 meter per second, whatever it is. Say it has got some velocity now. Fine. And the distance covered is S. So what is the work we have done? Amount of work equal to my force into displacement. Got it? This, we, this equation can we can write from the definition of work work equal to force into displacement. Now, force means mass into acceleration. We know that into displacement. Got it? Now, from this situation, we can use the, that equation v square equal to u square plus 2as. Do you know this equation? Yes equation of motion. What is that equation? V square equal to u square plus 2as. V square, v is the final velocity, v. What is the initial velocity? u equal to 0. So initial velocity is 0 square plus 2as. So v square equal to 0 square means 0. So 2as, got it? Now, what is my s? s equal to v square by 2a. So I can write m into a into s means v square by 2a. So v square by 2a. A, A cancelled. What we are getting? This is 1 by 2. M, V square. M, V square. So, what is the amount of work is done by me? Amount of work is half M, V square. And I told you, the object was at rest. Now you are pushing the object. And because of that object has gained some velocity, that means you have done some work and that work is kinetic energy. So what is my kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is half mv square. Because the amount of work done by you is half mv square, so kinetic energy is half mv square. Understood? Now, say you are driving a scooty. Yes. And the speed of the scooty is say 20 km per hour. Fine. Now you, 
are increasing the velocity of your scooty. How do you increase the velocity of your scooty? Yes, by acceleration. By acceleration, you are increasing the velocity. So, let us consider your initial speed was 20 km per hour. And after giving the acceleration, the velocity increased to say 50 km per hour. Got it? Say, this is the road and here is your scooty whose velocity is say 20 km per hour. Okay? Now you are giving an acceleration and because of that the speed of your scooty or the velocity is changed to 50 km per hour. Here is the scooty whose velocity equal to 50 km per hour. Fine? So if I ask you who has done that work? To increase the velocity, someone has done the work. Who has done the work? You have done the work? No. The machine of your scooty has done the work. Yes. The engine which is fitted inside the scooty, that engine has done this work. So if I ask you, what is the amount of kinetic energy here? To find the kinetic energy of such situation, we will use a special formula that kinetic energy here equal to half m final velocity square final velocity square minus initial velocity square got it so this is the amount of kinetic energy or the amount of work you can also write amount of work is done Okay, and this formula is also called work energy equation. Got it? Work energy theorem or work energy equation. Amount of work done equal to half m final velocity square minus initial velocity square. Okay, now I will discuss about potential energy. But before discussion potential energy, let us discuss about some examples of potential energy so that you can understand it clearly. First example, apne balloon liya, inflated balloon, means jisme hawa hai, us balloon ko aap dono taraf se press karte ho, thik hai, phir aap chhod dete ho, to kya hoga, balloon apne position mein aja hai jo size hai balloon ka, jab aap press karte ho, तो और जब आप छोड़ देते हो फिर वो अपने पोजीशन में आ जाता है है ना तो जब आप प्रेस कर रहे हो मतलब आप कुछ वर्क कर रहे हो दैट इज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मैं आपको और भी एक एग्जांपल देता हूं आप जानते हो बो एंड एरो बो एंड एरो को जब आप ऐसे खींचते हो अंडरस्टूड जब हम इसको ऐसे खींचते हैं तो इसका मतलब हम कुछ वर्क करते हैं एंड दैट वर्क इज कॉल्ड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी से स्प्रिंग मैंने स्प्रिंग लिया स्प्रिंग तो ऐसे छोटे से स्प्रिंग होता है छोटा जब आप इसको खींचते हो ऐसे दोनों तरफ जब आप दोनों तरफ इसको पुल करते हो तो वो लंबा होता है जब आप छोड़ देते हो फिर से वो छोटा हो जाता है मतलब जब आप खींच रहे हो तो आप कुछ वर्क कर रहे हो दैट वर्क इज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी तो फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल क्या था द बेलून then second example bow and arrow third example spring or say if i ask you that um, ke floor mein ek book pada hua hai floor mein ek book pada hua hai aur main aapko bol raha hu is book ko lo aur table ke upar rakho to iska matlab aapne kuch work kiya that work is potential energy so we have discussed so many examples of potential energy now i shall discuss what is the mathematical expression of potential energy? Let's see that. Let us consider that this is the table and this is the floor. Fine. This is my table and floor. On that floor, a book is there whose mass is m. Fine. Our task is to keep the book here on the table here 
Fine. The height of the table is say H. So if I ask you how much work I have done, my work equal to force into displacement. How much force I have applied from here to here? Say F is the force I have applied into displacement. What is the displacement? H. H. Fine. We know that force means mass into acceleration. So mass into acceleration into H. But if you see the body is not going horizontally. The body is moving vertically. When an object is moving horizontally, then we consider acceleration. When an object moves vertically, we take gravity. Understood? Then, here the object is moving vertically, upward, vertically. So, we should, con we should consider gravity. So, instead of acceleration, I will write gravity. So, what I am getting? M G H. So, my potential energy equal to M G H. Understood? Okay? Thank you.